Well, hello there. Come on in. I'm Chris Brown. I'm your humble chimney sweep. I was just going over your chimney inspection report, but now that you're here, make yourself comfortable. Let's go over it together, shall we? Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then of course you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey Donna, what a great looking home. Uh, good landscaping, beautiful location. Let's go up on top. So both the chimneys have cracked crowns up here. You can see where they're not only cracked, but moisture's gotten up underneath here. And uh, any trapped moisture in the wintertime when it freezes, heaves or lifts that cement up off the uh, top of the chimney. So both crowns need to be report. The one that I, I, I didn't look at, which was the other side, the gas unit, uh, this screen has got to go. It's not a, um, it's code required that if you're going to use screen, it has to be four times the size of the opening. The screen pattern has to be a certain size, it needs to be three quarter inch holes, etc, etc. So this is not a good idea. What I recommend on both of them is chimney caps, just like your neighbor uh, to your left, if you look at your front door to your left, that that's what I would install up there. That'll take care of the uh, crack crown issue. The screen could be removed. Uh, the caps will keep the birds, the squirrels, and the rain uh, out of the chimney. All right, so we looked at the bedroom fireplace today. We got uh, all the remnants of the uh, birds and squirrels and stuff that's been living in there over the years. Uh, removed the damper, cleaned everything behind there as well and uh, reinstalled the damper. Uh, flue system looks great, not having any problems with that. This large gap all the way around, this is called a profile joint, it's completely missing all the way around. Also the uh, front of the fireplace, uh, right up along here, you got a nice crack. And of course on both sides where the, uh, where the mantle meets the wall, there's a large gap there too. So Mason will help you and for the trim work, a uh, trim carpenter will be able to uh, to assist. I would use obviously wouldn't use the fireplace uh, until these repairs are made. It'd be pretty unsafe. So questions for me? Give me a call 704-526-6348. You can always email me at chris at affordablesweep.com.